Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel and happy Halloween. Because Halloween is basically canceled this year, I wanted to show you guys my costume on here since I probably won't be going out anywhere. This is an original character design I came up with myself and she is a blood witch. I mainly base the costume around my new sclera lenses which are amazing. I got them from Pinky Paradise who graciously gifted them to me so thank you guys so much. Many of you have requested this video so without further ado, here is my harness collection. So we're going to be starting with the first ever harness I bought from Amazon. And unfortunately I could not find the link to this. I went back in my order history but could not find it anywhere. I posted on Instagram that this is from Amazon so it must be true. This is very stretchy and I'm realizing now I should have put that thing underneath my boobs up a little bit more on my chest to give it more of that pentagram look. But this does have two straps in the back and one that goes around my neck. It is very stretchy and it's pretty much just a very basic harness. So the next few harnesses are from AliExpress, and I did a whole haul video on these. I will link them down in the description box, as well as up in the cards if you'd like to watch those videos. But this is another very stretchy harness. This has no adjustments whatsoever. This is just, you stretch it and it goes on. And it has a strap that goes around your neck and your torso. This is not an adjustable harness. I love this particular design. It is one of my favorites. And I actually wore this on stage to perform with a metal band. And if you guys would like to see that, that is also here on my channel. Up next, I like to call this one the basket harness. This one has never quite fit me right. I think it needs a bigger chest to fill it out. And it has three straps across the bottom, all of which are adjustable. And then the top bit, which goes around my neck, is not adjustable and it is very tight, which is one of the main reasons why I never really wear this harness. And it looks all right, but it's just, it's not my favorite. And I may get rid of it. This harness is one of my absolute favorites. I wear this all the time. It is amazing. I love how it looks like a rib cage with all of the chains that go across my chest there and it also has a big ring in the front in case you want to hook yourself to anything. And then in the back it hooks around with a chain which is very adjustable. As you can see there is quite a lot of chain. And then around the neck there is a spot where you can actually lock this harness. But unfortunately I seem to have lost my lock. I don't know where it is but I love this design so much. This is another one of my favorite harnesses. Very basic, but a beautiful harness for everyday wear. Very simple, and I just love how this looks. This goes with so many things, and it has a snapback around your neck, and then it also buckles around your back. This goes with everything, and I love this design. It is one of my favorites, hands down. Now this one is not one of my favorite harnesses. It actually looks a lot better on camera than it does in real life, which is kind of funny. The faux leather is not good quality. This is just straight up cheap plastic. It looks pretty good here though, I will say that. I love the design of it. I wish it fit me a little bit better. And I also wish that the faux leather itself was higher quality because you can just feel in your hands that it's cheap. This has two adjustable harness straps that go across your shoulders and one strap in the back. But yes, I wish this was better quality than I'd wear it more. Now the next few harnesses are from Shein. Oh my gosh, this first one is so gorgeous. I love it so much. I love that it has the faux leather collar on the top by your neck and then the rest of it is all chains except for the leather strap that goes around your back. I just love how gracefully the chains drape underneath your boobs and how it looks going across the chest all the o-rings. The other thing I love about this is that it has six snaps around the neck so it is very secure. It is not going anywhere and it is very easy to take on and off. I love that in a harness and this design is one of my absolute favorites that I've gotten so I love this one. Another everyday simple harness for me. I like this next one from Sheen. It's very cute. It's very simple. It has a little pentagram design with an open ring at the bottom so again if you want to you know hang anything from your harness you can you can hang your phone from there and this is also very easy to put on it has a strap around the neck and around the back and it's very simple very light looks really cute I've been trying to figure out what I can style this with though because it kind of goes in an awkward place across my boobs but still cute now this is another one of my favorite designs from Shein. This is the wing harness. It has wings in the back, but the only thing I don't like is that these straps in the front are way too long, so I'll probably just have to cut them because they just take away from the elegant simplicity of the front of this harness. I also like how simple this harness is in the front. It has a very sleek silhouette from the side, and then the back is my favorite because it has these gorgeous little wings. They are so cute. They're big enough to be a statement piece, but not too big as to where they're ridiculous. 
ridiculous. So I love that. This is so cute. I love the design. And then of course you guys know most of my harnesses are black. So I went out on a limb and I got the same harness in bright red. How cool is this? The right wing is a little curled, but I love the overall design of this harness. It is a little tricky to get in and out of. You can't just slip it on because this does buckle across the top there, across your shoulders on both sides and on the bottom as well. And as you can see, this one also has the issue of having the straps a little bit too long, but I can always cut those off. But I love the wings on this design and hopefully I'll be able to get this in more colors in the future. This is another one of my favorite designs. Unfortunately, this shop called Kiriani Clothing is no longer in business, but you can look at their Instagram. I don't know why their website is offline, but I love how sturdy this harness is, but I love how this design looks across my chest. It's very flattering. The only thing is that it's a little tight in the back for me, as you can see. It's kind of high up on my back there but it has one strap in the back and also has adjustable shoulder pieces. This next harness is one of the more unique designs I've seen. This is from Zafool and I really love how it just goes across my chest really quite elegantly, I would say. I love how this doesn't really have shoulder straps. It goes around your neck with one piece and then it has two straps in the back, but I love how the three straps in the front sit one across my chest going down on both sides and then the two underneath my ribs. I haven't seen this design anywhere else so I love it. Okay this one was a complete disaster. I do not remember where this is from and I feel like I either had this on completely wrong or this has stretched a lot over time because I haven't worn this one a lot as you can see my face is like what is this? <laughs> but it just looks so huge on me. I, I'm if you guys know if I'm wearing this wrong, please let me know, but I just have no idea what I was doing, where this is from. <laughs> this was just kind of a hot mess here. Now for this one, I also don't know where this is from, but this one has the opposite issue. This is really tight, as you can see. This is squeezing the breath out of me. And I think a company reached out to me on Instagram to give this to me, but I don't remember which one. And yeah, this is just way too tight for me. I love the design though, so I'm sad that it's a little too tight. I really like the design of this one. This is another company that unfortunately is no longer in business. This was called Doombox Official. Again, I think you can still find their Instagram as well. But this harness, also very unique. I haven't really seen too many designs like this. Every single strap is adjustable, which is really cool. And then it has two adjustable straps in the back, as well as one that clips down around your back. This does fit me a little oddly, but I do love the overall design. And now we are on to bottom harnesses and belts. Now this one can be worn two ways. You can wear it down like this, or you can also wear it as a top harness. But this one is from Shein, and this is not the best quality harness I've ever had. It's fine. I just feel like the leather, or faux leather rather, is a little stiff but they are detachable so you can just have the chains. But I do like the overall look of this as well as how adjustable this is, so it does fit me fairly well. Now the next one is the exact same style. This is from Unzi, except for the fact that the straps and the chains are a lot shorter than the last one. Now this has the same exact design where you can take off the faux leather straps, but I feel like this one just feels like it's higher quality. The faux leather is thicker, feels more durable, and overall just feels a lot sturdier on my hips. I do also like how this one looks. I feel like the shorter chains and these straps look a lot better than the super long ones. And I also love that this particular design has hearts on the buckles everywhere. So there are hearts on each end of the straps. But I love that each heart on the end of the strap also has a little heart inside of it. It was just a really cute detail and I love this design. This next one from Shein, oh, I love this so much. It looks complicated, but it is so easy to put on. It is all pretty much one piece and all you have to do is put it on like a belt around the top and then each of the two leg straps buckle as well. Now with this one, I was able to cut off all of the extra straps so it looks nice and clean. There's no extra straps poking out anywhere and I just love how this looks from the front and from the back. I feel like this is something that Lilu would wear. If you guys don't know who Lilu is, she is from The Fifth Element, really good movie, highly recommend. This is one of my favorite bottom harnesses that I have. 
And then last but not least, this bottom harness from Zafu. I love the simplicity of this design. Also very easy to get in and out of. It has the top belt, which is very easy. It goes on like a regular belt. And then it also has one strap for each of the leg pieces. My favorite thing about this one is the three D-rings that go up each side of the front. It looks so good, very easy to walk in, and very comfortable. The only thing I don't like about this particular harness is that if I leave the leg straps too loose, then they end up sliding down my legs, but if they're too tight, then they kind of hurt and leave a mark after a while, so I have to find a sweet spot in between there. And that is it for my harness collection. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you're having a wonderful, spooky Halloween. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.